hello and welcome back to another tutorial of Arduino so today we are looking looking at the one of the most important parts of Arduino and that is the breadboard uh, breadboard is used to um, expand the circuit as you can see here we have a lot of holes and all these are connected inside so the area of breadboard has really improved as this is how it used to look like and if you can see here it it, it nails are used to connect this if you can see there's a wire running from here to here and that is also connected to this and you see it's a lot of junk blocking so now to prevent this breadboards are now put into smaller devices like this you can see this is a small breadboard they vary in size and they are small size medium size and up to bigger sizes so you can see uh, the breadboard here we have a b c d e and on the other side we have one two three four five up to seventeen so you can see if we hover here it shows that all these points on the same line this means that all these points are connected so on a breadboard these points are connected these are connected these are connected so meaning from f say 14 to f um, to j14 are all connected the same with 15 f15 to j15 are all connected from here also we have a17 to e17 are all connected and it, that is how it works all this way so let's see how the breadboard looks inside so inside the breadboard looks like this so you can see these are the boxes and this is how they are connected on bigger breadboards we have lines connected this way so why also you a breadboard like that also so these are the bread this is how the breadboard looks inside so you see this is the pin here when you put it this is how it grips it so let's see how a bigger breadboard looks like so this is a not a breadboard here so if we look at this breadboard we have something that looks like the smaller one but we have two things here what are those we have a line here another line here and we have the same lines on this part and these lines are marked as positive and negative so these are normally used because the positive and the negative points are mostly something that most of the models we use uh, require so that is why the posit in bigger breadboards the positive and the negative are expanded this way so if we look at this diagram that is what we have here rails and the bus the rails and the bus are the one we see positive as and negative here so that's how it looks like so now we would be looking at a simpler way of uh, using the breadboard without using an arduino board or anything so if we look at this also sometimes the uh, most problem we face with breadboards are breakpoints so if we look at this this is a breakpoint meaning on this line only these from here to here are connected and there is a breakpoint here and from here to here they are connected so meaning when you connect uh, something on this point you will for when you come up to here you need to uh, extend it to this part also to keep this whole line connected so those are called breadboard breakpoints so let's build a simple circuit with the bread uh, with this breadboard let's see so we will just be using a simple LED with a switch so this is the LED now if we connect the LED this is the positive of the LED the anode and this is the negative the cathode so if we connect them here uh, you see now everything here is connected to the anode and everything here is connected to the cathode so let's get a battery so here is a 3 volt battery so you see this is the positive side of the battery and this is the negative side of the battery so we want to connect this positive side to here this is it to red okay and let's use this to the negative here okay and let's use a slide switch let's put that switch here so that's what we have now we have a switch and we want to switch on this LED um, you using this switch using power from this battery so let's connect this um, the, now if you can look every if you can see everything here is connected to the positive here so meaning everything here is going to have 3 volt and everything here is going to be negative so we can connect this positive to 
our switch here so for the switch also is the same thing everything on this line also is going to be um, positive okay and we connect the negative of this to these lines here so you can see let's change that to black change this to red and then now we can connect this to the positive and let's see what we are going to have so this is the connection now and this is a simple switch to turn on this led so let's start simulation okay so you can see the led is on when we click on the switch so basically this is how the breadboard works to expand the switch so you see this is a, to expand the circuit so when we click it's on this is just because we are not using a resistor and the current going there is too much so on and off this is how it the breadboard works so you see all these lines are connected these ones are connected and these ones are connected and in some breadboards there is a breadboard uh, breakpoint that looks like this so meaning here this side is connected and this side is connected so um, a recap a breadboard uh, on the positive and the lines marked positive and negative are connected and here also these lines are connected so you can see even if we hover here we can have a look at it like this this is a simple circuit of switching on a light bulb using the switch but then the main idea was to understand the breadboard and i guess you have had a big understanding of the breadboard so this is there is no programming here it's just transfer of electricity and cutting the circuit to and cutting the uh, circuit to prevent electricity from traveling so that's it for breadboard and then see you on our next tutorial